Hi, I'm Chris from codereviewvideos.com and in this video we're going to add in pagination into our Twig CRUD implementation. So just to cover, I've reverted it back to as it was when we finished up the previous series. I'll link to that in the show notes if you're unsure and also I'll link to where you can get the code so that you can start off at this point as well. Basically, it's all on there. It's on GitHub. Uh, I'll link to it in the show notes. Anyway, we're going to start off by installing KMP Paginator Bundle, which although it says it's for Symphony 2, it does work just fine with Symphony 3. And and I'm just going to stick that into, so this is the server side and this here is the client side. So this is my desktop side, but yeah, I'm just going to leave that installing in the background there. It shouldn't take too long. And whilst it's doing that, I'm going to jump across to the documentation for the KMP paginator and have a look through. Now there's a couple of bits and pieces. So obviously you've got to add this into app kernel, uh, effectively enabling your bundle. Don't do this until your your app bundle is downloaded, um, but I'm pretty sure it should have done by now. Yep, so I'm good to go. And then there's also this bit where you've got to copy and paste in the, the configuration. And this is going to be the same for whether you're doing this for the API side of things or whether you're doing this for our Twig side of things. But there is a little bit of difference when we're doing it for the API. But I'm not really going to cover what that is as such at this stage. It's just to do with which fields will be exposed. Uh, so don't worry about that too much at this stage. We'll cover that in the in the appropriate video. And then because we're using Bootstrap 3, I'm just going to take a copy of the, the correct template for the pagination just so that we get that nice looking paginator rather than the, the default slider one that it comes with. Aside from that, we should be good. So we should be able to start actually using this now. Uh, but let's just give our, our site a refresh just to make sure. Yeah, we're all still loading. So that looks pretty good. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get the paginator. So I'm just going to stick this onto its own variable. And I'm just going to say this get KMP underscore paginator which is just going to go off and using service location, pull that service out. And one thing that I like to do is add in the type in for what it is that I'm trying to use just so that I get the auto completion inside PHP Storm. And often I don't know what that class is. So I don't really, it's pulling out KMP paginator and it because it's going through a bundle, it might not be that obvious as to what that's actually using. So a, a little trick is just to dump out, get class for whatever's in paginator. And this should tell us what it is so that and we can go ahead and stick this on as the, the type in as such. So it's telling us that it's going to be a, a paginator. So let's copy that out, and pop this on. And so the nice thing is now when I go and do paginator, I get access to all the different methods that are on there, which if I took that off, so I just knock off the, the at var, then try again, and that doesn't actually work. So it's just a nice little tip that helps you when you're developing. And now what I'm going to do is just do a paginate and it's going to give me a bit of a strange uh, setup there. But yeah, so once I've got that, I can press command P on the Mac or control P on Windows or Linux. And you'll see the various things that we need to pop, pop in there. So the only thing that we need is the target. And it's a bit of a strange name, but essentially what that's saying is what is it that we're trying to paginate over? Now you can pass in an array. You can pass in quite a lot of things, honestly. In fact, I'll jump across to the docs and show you exactly what you can pass in. So there's plenty of things that you can pass in, but the way that I'm going to do it is the way that it describes here, which is to pass in the query, not the result. And the reason for this is that we're going to pull out we're going to let the paginator figure out which rows and so on it should be pulling back from the database rather than pull back all the rows and then paginate over them which would be quite inefficient especially as your data set grows so yeah it, essentially it's copy and paste if you're unsure but we'll, we'll sort out the the query we'll do it using the query builder rather than dql but of course you're, you're free to go either way and then everything else should be roughly the same for this step so we'll say we'll pass in a query, which we don't actually have yet. And then we'll also from the request, see, we could hard code this as such. So we could say always get page number one. And again, just so that you know where these are coming from. If you don't pass in anything, obviously it's going to default to one as the first page and, and a limit of 10 per page. We could override that and say 20 per page or whatever, rather than hard code it, which is going to almost immediately break what we're trying to do. Then we're going to get from the request, which we don't actually have set up at the moment. So let's pop that in at the top there, request, request. So from this request, then we're going to go into the query. So effectively into the query string, as we saw in the previous video, when, when you're at the top in the browser, 
then you can pass in as in you know stuff at the top so from the query string then we're going to get the an integer and that integer is going to be from the page and if we don't pass in that then we're going to get the page uh, of one so effectively just default back so request again from the query this time get another integer and we're going to call that one our limit and if we don't pass that in then then that's just going to default to 10 as well now if we really wanted to we could just start using this as i said you can actually use the result so that just the array that this is going to return so instead of passing in a query let's just to begin with prove that it works by passing in some blog posts uh, maybe we'll set this to five as well just to show things are actually happening we need to pop this onto something instead of passing that in there we'll just call this result and we'll put the result of our pagination into that variable called result and so if we refresh this now you can see it's working don't actually have the paginator yet but it, it generally is working. And it, again, if we pass in some, so our, our options that are available to us would be page and limit. So if we passed in a page of equals two, then you can see that we're, we're stepping through. And uh, again, we could pass in the and limit of say three. And so we're only getting a few of the results as well. So this looks like it's working, but we need to go ahead and update the template to actually add in the paginator. Now to do this, I'm just gonna steal whatever's on the, the KMP docs. So somewhere in here, we've got the, the paginator. Yeah, so let's just take that and pop that into our view for our list. Somewhere down the bottom here, we want it outside of the table. So let's just pop it right there. And we're not calling our variable pagination. We're calling ours blog posts. So let's just pop that into there and that should be okay. Give this a refresh and we've got our pagination, but we might want to text center that. So let's just looking better, should be working. But we've still got a bit of an issue as we are paginating over the result, which is what I said we didn't want to do. So instead of using this blog posts result at the top there, let's do this using the query. In fact, let's do this exactly like they do on the documentation for the moment. And I'll explain why we would swap this out as we go through, because I think that's quite an interesting thing to, to see. So we'll just say select. We'll call it, this is DQL as opposed to using the query builder. I'll link to, to this in the show notes as well on, on where to get a little bit more information on this if you're unsure. But we're going to go from app bundle, blog post as BP, and that should just select all. And then we can just create a query like this. And then again, rather than passing blog posts here, we'll pass in the query. And this time we should all still be working as well. So let's just get rid of all of that. And yeah, so we're, we're all good. And this time it's paginating over the query. 